What's up, Bulldogs? Welcome back to the Bulldog News. I'm Liam. I'm Liam. And we're Liam Squared. Yeah, except one of you guys look like Caillou. Get out! <laughs> anyway, let's see what's happened with ASB. <laughs> Take it away, Julia and Genesis. Keegan, get off of there! Dog Pound has been loud and proud these last couple of games. Let's keep up the streak. Join us this Friday, September 20th, for a football game and be part of the best student section in the high desert. Okay, speaking of the best student section, the poll for the best student section in the high desert is still going until the end of September. Be sure to visit this link and vote OHHS. You can vote as many times as you want, so spam that voting button. Let's go, Bulldog. The student store is open every day at lunch. For you to purchase your snacks, we accept cash only at the windows. Did you know that Oak Hills ASB ha now has a TikTok account? If not, you do now. So be sure to check it out and support your ASB Bulldogs. There will be news, updates, and events posted on the account, so make sure you follow at ASB.Bulldogs. Don't forget we have music and games in their Stunner Quad every Friday. Join us for some cornhole, good songs, and more. Also, if you want to recommend your favorite songs, click this link and fill out the form. Please remember, not all songs will be played and all inappropriate songs will not be added. Thanks for listening. That was great, guys. We go into the fit of the week now with Keone, Tyler, and Andrew. Hi, Bulldog News. I'm Keone Slaughter, and I'm here with Catalina Redmall. What intrigued you to choose this fit today? I chose this fit because I haven't worn a flannel in a while. Do you like wearing flannels daily? Yes, I do. Why? Because they're not sweaters, but they cover your body. Thank you. So Liam, what went into your outfit today? Oh, not much. Just eight hours, blood, sweat, and some tears. Oh, really? I couldn't tell. Looks like you just rolled out of bed and put something on. I know it does. You have no idea how difficult this look is to perfect. Um, okay. Anyway, let's see what's going on with ROTC. Good idea, Liam. What is your name and rank? My name is uh, Keegan Crichton. I'm a private first class. Why did you join ROTC? I uh, joined ROTC for the uh, extracurricular help and uh, to, you know, go into college ROTC and then go into actual military. Okay, okay. Why, why should others join ROTC? Others uh, should join ROTC because it helps you prepare for college and it helps you prepare for other academic succeeding things in life. All right, thank you, thank you. You plan on enlisting after high school? Yeah, I plan on enlisting. Yeah? Yeah. What branch? Army. Army? Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you, Nick. You're welcome. Wow, guys. Good to know what's happening with our ROTC program. And now, the fact of the day. Did you know that alectorophobia is the fear of chickens? <laughs> Interesting. Well, let's find out what's happening with Bulldog Sports News. I'm Dylan, and I'm Tyler, and we're here with you for This Tuesday, we got freshman JV and varsity volleyball playing at Serrano High School from 3.15 to 7.15 p.m. Also on Tuesday, we got JV and varsity cross country playing Barrows High School at 3.15 to 5.15 p.m. And we got our JV and varsity girls tennis playing at Hesperia from 3.15 to 7.15 p.m. And last but not least, we got our varsity football team playing St. Bart Adventure at home at 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. So make sure to come out and watch your Bulldogs play. Hey, I'm Jose, and I'm here with Corson Cox. JJ Cavanaugh. And what sport do you guys play? Football. All right. What do you guys say is the team's biggest strength this year? Biggest strength is, say, um, our connection. We're really, like, really connected this year. We got a lot closer. Got a lot closer with God. Like, a lot of guys got closer and connected with God. So, I, I'd say that's important. I'd say the biggest strength this year is just how close we are. Because, like, even though we got a bunch of new transfers, I feel like we're all super close and all have the same goal in mind. 
right. And what's something you want the audience to know about your sport? Um, I want them to know, like, you guys are watching. If we're having, if we're playing terrible, just know that we're hard on ourselves already. So you guys yelling at us and telling us that we're doing bad, so it's making it worse. And what about you, JJ? I want them to know, like, what goes on behind the scene. Like, all they see is Friday nights, but they don't see the time and effort throughout the whole school year that we put into it. And when's your next game so we can come to sport? Um, so our next game is coming out. So St. Bonnie, yeah, St. Bonnie, biggest game of the season. We prepared for this the whole year. So St. Bonaventure, everybody should show up. My name's Ethan, I'm here with? Julia and Kiona. What sport do you guys play? Volleyball. And what's your guys' goal for this season? To win MRL again and to go undefeated 10-0. and And when's your guys' in the next game so we can come out and support? Our next game is September 19th against Hesperia. Thanks. Now we know what's happening with sports. And now, the word of the day with my doppelganger. The word is, excuse me if I get this bad, Pneumono Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis. That was crazy. What does it mean? So basically, it's a disease you get from swallowing volcano dust. Good to know. Now we head over to Music Takes, hearing from you guys. Hi guys, it's Presley. And Miss Calderon. Hi guys, my name's Leah and I'm here with... Uh, Joseph. Uh, hi, I'm Mr. Freeling. Sam. Okay. And today we're going to be asking Miss Calderon about some of her favorite music. All right. So, what's your favorite type of music? Country. Uh, it depends on the mood. I like reggae or, you know, sometimes rap, like Rod Wave. Heartbroken music sometimes. Yeah. Um, I listen to a lot of different music. Um, I listen to mostly like uh, rock and roll from like the 70s, 80s. Some... Who's your favorite music artist? Uh, anything by Morgan Wallen. Right now, I'll say J Bug. J Bug, and then second, The Rod Wave for sure. Um, I love the Beatles. Zach Bryan. What about this music artist draws you in? Um, I think I just like the realness of his lyrics and I guess the beat or guitar or any I guess instrument I don't yeah. know I don't know just the lyrics you know it just really gets me I don't know sometimes give me tear up like right away okay. I mean it's just it was just always on the radio um you know when I grew up there was no Spotify there was no um you know there all these music streaming services like we had to listen to the radio <laughs> so like whatever they played on the radio that's what we had to listen to like we couldn't go and pick our songs and choose our songs and um just his like his songs are just so re <laughs> relatableness and i like how like twangy his music is okay all right guys you heard it here first thank you thank you hey liam kendrick or drake kendrick all the way liam good to know liam Anyway, how about we talk about the weather this week, Liam? Good idea, Liam. It's going to be cooling down this week as we get closer to the beginning of fall. Thank you, Liam. And now we're going to be moving on to what people like about school with Juliana and Susanna. Take it away, guys. Hey, Bulldogs. You can call me Julie. And today we're going to be asking people what their favorite class or subject uh. is. Okay, who's with us today? Jack. All right, Jack. What's your favorite class or subject? ELA. ELA? Yeah. Why is ELA your favorite? I like to write. You like to write? What do you like to write about? Stories. He likes to write stories! That's it for today, Bulldogs. Have a great day. We're Liam Squared. This has been the Bulldog. Hey, Liam, do you like explosions? Absolutely. Until next week. Goodbye, Bulldogs.